Kazakhstan has set an ambitious goal to reach carbon neutrality by 2060. In recent years, it has brought the share of renewable energy in total electricity production to 4%. It is the sun and the wind that this vast country counts on in its green energy transition. Astana Expo 2017 is one of the biggest wind power plants in the country. 29 wind turbines with a total capacity of 100 megawatts are producing green energy 40 kilometers from Kazakhstan's capital. Studies confirm that in Kazakhstan the wind energy potential is about 1 trillion kilowatt hours per year. That is, there is potential and it must be developed with a balanced approach. If we talk specifically about our wind farm Astana, the generation during the year is about 300 million kilowatt hours. For understanding, this is commensurate with the consumption of about 80,000 residential apartments. Wind turbines brought here from Europe are equipped with ice detection system and operate safely in Kazakhstan's extremely hot summers and cold winters. The green energy that is produced here allows to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 270,000 tonnes annually. Green electricity is supplied to the national grid. The state now guarantees its redemption from enterprises for 20 years and indexes tariffs. Since 2018, Kazakhstan has had a system of electronic auctions to attract investment in the renewable energy sector. More than 200 companies have taken part in these electronic transparent auctions from nine countries around the world. More than 60 contracts have been signed, which means that Kazakhstan really attracts international investors into green energy. International energy company ENI has been present in Kazakhstan since 1992. Four years ago, ENI Plentitude through Armwind started to invest here in the renewable energy. Badam Shawan in the Aktob region was the first wind farm built by the company worldwide. This year, the construction of the second wind farm has been completed. As a company, we bring uh, uh, investments, technology, and the industrial capacity to realize such uh, big uh, green projects which are in line with the decarbonization and energy transition targets of the country. This is one of the biggest investment projects and another pioneer of Kazakhstan's green energy transition. The SS Saran Solar Planet in the Karaganda region, constructed by German company Goldbeck Solar, Launched in 2019, it produces more than 125 million kilowatt hours per year. The uniqueness of this project lies in the fact that this is the very first large solar power plant in Kazakhstan and in the entire Central Asian region. This was the very first positive message for foreign investors to invest in solar energy in Kazakhstan. Those solar panels belong to the latest generation and do not have any metal frame. It allows the snow, and there is a lot of it in Kazakhstan, as well as the rain not to accumulate on the surface, but to slide down to the ground safely. Now in Kazakhstan, there are about 130 renewable energy facilities, and the country's potential is huge. The bet is on the wind, the bet is on the sun, on hydroelectric power plants. There is a very big potential there. We are closely watching technological development. Our scientists are also thinking about how to make renewable energy sources a fully-fledged replacement for fossil fuel stations in the future. This is the biggest challenge, not only for Kazakhstan, but for the whole world today. This futurist mosque in Astana is getting all its light and heat from its own solar panels. Such small-scale sustainable projects set green energy direction to Kazakhstan's modern life and are important for locals. It is called an eco-mosque because it provides itself with energy and the greatest thing is there that is no harm either to the environment or to the population, only benefits. The next goal for Kazakhstan is to reach 15% of renewable energy in total electricity production by 2030.